On the 16th of February, 1992, my brother was shot dead by the British Army. He was part of an IRA active service unit. The unit had a tactical island police station with a 12.7 machine gun mounted on the back of a lorry. The plan was to go to Tano Chapel and dismantle the gun and leave. As the lorry entered the grounds of Tano Chapel, the SAS opened. Fire without warning, they fired over 500 rounds. Peter Clancy, 21, Sean O'Farrell, 22, Patrick Vincent Santa, and my brother, Kevin Barry O'Donnell, 21, were all shot dead. That was 29 years ago. We have never had an inquest. There are many, many questions about the killings in Cano that have never been answered. And my family's biggest fear down throughout the years was that they never would be. There have been many who would rather dismiss Barry's killing because he was an IRA volunteer. Indeed, over the years, my family has endured Barry's death being vilified by sections of the media and front page headlines that gloated at his death. In 2002, the preliminary scheduling of the inquest officially opened. We as a family have attended over 20 preliminary hearings locally. And then in 2005, these hearings were moved to Belfast. We did try and attend as many as we could, but it was made much more difficult to make the 80 mile round trip for a possible 15 minute mention in a court session. Much of the information given to our legal team by the MOD, by the British Army, has been so heavily redacted, thus blacked out, that it is of absolutely no use. These 29 long years have taken a toll on our family. Peter Clancy's mother, father and brother have died without closure. Sean O'Farr's father and twin brother have died without closure. Patrick Vincent's father has died without closure. And my own father died a year and a half ago without closure. The onus to campaign campaign for the truth about Barry's death has fallen on myself and my siblings. We are the generation who are still trying to cope with the impact of the troubles. We don't want this to go on for the next generation. The British government's policy was to stall and keep stalling. My own mother's biggest worry is that when she dies there will be no legal aid to enable us to fight any case and that Barry's voice will never be heard. This is a reality for my family and for many legacy families. We should have the same rights as any other citizens in this state, but yet our loss and our tears were deemed less because Barry was killed by the British soldiers. My brother and his comrades were shot dead by the SAS, and the impact that that had on our families and our communities is still devastating to this very day. The stalling by the British government and then the executive of Stormont was a tactic to prevent the truth coming out. Barry, Sean, Peter and Patrick could and should have been arrested. We believe that the decision was made at the highest level in the British government to assassinate these men rather than arrest them. Over 500 bullets shot by the SAS as that lorry drove into Fano that night is a tes testimony to this. In 2015, there was a review of the legacy cases led by Judge Weir. Soon after this, Lord Chief Justice Declan Morgan Judge Weir and Judge Colton met with the legacy families. They devised a plan that all inquests would be heard within five years. This was a ray of light in the dark after so many, many years. Now all our hopes have been crushed. We want our inquest. We want closure. We don't want to be used as bartering tools by politicians trying to gain leverage during talks. What we ask for is to be treated no different to any other family. It is our right as citizens to have an inquest. It is a given, not a privilege, that we should have to beg for. We know the British government never wanted the truth to be revealed about their murky dealings and the murders of our citizens. We know the stalling tactic used to delay, delay, delay ensures that witnesses die as in our own case and that we may never have the whole truth. We are sick to the back teeth listening about the impact investigations into the past have on British soldiers and members of the security forces. They were the rule of law. If they did the job, what did they have to fear? My family were heartbroken by Barry's death. We loved them dearly and always will. 
Like many of you here today, I still mourn and grieve for my brother. I feel that I can't move on. As a family, we can't really look forward to the future. We'll never have been so un many unanswered questions about his death. We need closure. My family and all the families in legacy cases need closure. This closure will allow us to heal. It will allow our community to move forward and hope for our future. We will never, ever rest until the truth about British government, or you see MI5 and British Army states are told they're